Hey, good afternoon YouTube modelers. This is Clay of Clay's Chevys and recently I've had this Star Wars kick and I like these Ravel snap tights especially after watching and I think it was the HPI guy who posted his. I might be wrong and it might be Dirk, uh, Dirk Pitt but uh, one of those two guys posted this land speeder and I got this one at a really good price uh, I know Walmarts are selling them and uh, they're actually selling a lot of them on sale now so I bought some other Star Wars stuff at Walmart but I got this one off of uh, eBay or someplace and it was like 12 bucks with shipping so it's a very simple kit nice Ravel instructions the problem is these instructions and I don't know if Dirt mentions it or HPI guy Chris and I'm I'm sorry you two guys I can't remember which one did it but uh, the instructions show where these pipes go but they have just like a single dash line going down to the hole and this is actually wrong it shouldn't go here it should go like to this hole and then the, the front part should go to that hole and they're they're all you know they only got like one dash line and you got to try to figure out where the other one goes and the good thing it's a snap kit so there's not a bunch of holes in there and you kind of kind of figure it out um, I was gonna shoot a, a starting video and everything but as you can see I'm only down to one sprue left and there's not a whole hell of a lot of parts and within an hour last night even with sanding and everything and trimming it I got down to this part already now of course once it's all together we'll do some detailed painting now the the glass if you notice is really shiny is because I put a coat of future on the inside and outside of it before I I put it in the model and that'll keep all the hairy fingerprints off and everything and gives it a really nice shine so you know we're gonna have to do some weathering on it put a little bit more black in this this uh, silver grill or whatever you want to call it uh, but these are pretty nice kits, you know, with uh, already kind of pre-painted, already shows some like um, weathering and and some dry brushing looks like on there already from like scraping rocks or something. So it's pretty nice. One of the things I didn't like was the stand is black, and uh, I'm thinking about making it uh, the the kind of brown reddish. Tatooine dirt type um, soil and then the stands are black so I was trying to find some clear plastic to uh, use in its place but this is really thick it's like a 0.9 I think is what I measured it with the calipers as you can see and they don't make any uh, any uh, clear plastic that thick so I don't know where I'm gonna get some I have to look around I'll probably be able to find some somewhere Hold on. So I started this that... kit last night, and as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much almost done. So once I get that done, I'll probably either work on another one of these Ravel kits. I have the... Well, I got a bunch of them. Let me uh, walk over here and show you the mess. My wife's screaming at me. Uh, this is my stash here. Holy cow. And they're like too deep and whatnot. Plus I got crap load back in the garage in tubs. And then I got all these tubs. And I got like some German armor in there. Well, I started picking up all these Star Wars kits. So I got all these Bandai kits. They're easy to make. But I might do this Anakin. Um, his Starfighter. I got that at Walmart down in Oregon by my mom's house. And I, I think I paid $12 for it. And I also have the big... Um, I, got, I got like a Battlestar or something over there. Sorry for walking around. Oh, I got the uh, Millennium Falcon when the snap tights right there. And I just picked up this Lost in Space Jupiter 2 off of eBay and another Star Wars. So I got all my Star Wars kits up there. And they're doing an old school Star Wars build, so I don't know if I'm going to join that. Most of these are unsealed, and I got a bunch more down there. And I now have some duplicates, so I might resell some of them. Uh, I got some at a very good price. I also got a bunch back there. So, 
Uh, and a lot of these were open kits, were already started, so I just got to clean them up and rebuild them. So I got them real cheap. And you can see I got that old school Darth Vader right there. Right there. Okay, and a Luke Skywalker. And I think I got a 3 CPO somewhere. So you can see I got too much crap. So what I'm trying to work out with my wife is that I will finish a kit before I can buy another kit. So I got to get cracking. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day, good week, good month, and get out there and build something. Bye now.